Okay, I'm out here with the uh, Rampage R5 again. And this time it has a new servo saver, the garbage plastic one, since I still can't find the aluminum one. And I have this in it. Yeah, if I can get it in the shot, yeah. And it's on 7.4 volts since the ESC in it is pretty much a max 6. You can crank it right up to 7.4 volts. And since this is running on the Dumbo, yeah, the Dumbo. The Dumbo's receiver supports a ton of different, a ton of different voltages, so it's fine. And it works. Yeah, that, that seems kind of pathetic, doesn't it? But, the only thing about it is that this car doesn't like the the dual rays are being turned up because it it doesn't throw all the way anyway so the dual rays is what the dual rays on it's like on the, it's less than 50 percent but yeah it's it's definitely turning good so at 50 percent it's Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it can turn now. Finally. <laughs> I'd like to see if I can turn it up just slightly higher, just a little bit. Oh wow. That's better. Let's see what I got it on. It's probably at about 60% now. And this car still has the stock electronics in it. Well, except for the servo. The only thing about it is that the two stock fans that was in it both got destroyed fairly recently. So I put a WFT fan, I mean WTF fan in it. And you can obviously hear it. <laughs> On 7.4 volts, that thing is absolutely, it's a jet. I mean, that hum is really, really loud. Poor thing. But it's running, and it hasn't burned out yet, so... Yeah, if I want to turn the dual race up any higher, I'm going to have to make my own link for it. Because the stock link is very, very long, to say the least. So, yeah. Alright, it's turning nice now. <laughs> it's actually turning, period. Oh, yeah, it's definitely turning. <laughs> oh, God, what am I going to do with this truck? Uh, yeah, it looks like it's just, it just wants to mow this stuff out here, especially with these hatches. <laughs> I 
mean, it's no Crichton, but it really doesn't need it. Especially if you want to bash this thing. If you want to jump this thing, yeah, you're going to have to work on it a little bit, but... The stock electronics is fine for jumping it, at least. I mean, if you want to pick this thing up to a castle, you're going to tear up some stuff before you're done with it. And the only reason why this thing isn't wiggling like crazy is because I still haven't did anything with that willy bar that has the thing on the ground. I don't know if I can actually handle it yet. <laughs> because I know this thing is just get up and want to just go forever if I raise that willy bar. Oh yeah. Yeah, I love this. Uh, this control. Yeah, the control of this thing has its own. Of course, it's still no crate. That's because the Creighton, yeah, the servo saver on that thing, it's much, cinched down so much that it's only going to engage at the very end of the throw. So it can use at least about 80% of this servos to throw, which is pretty damn awesome. But that's the Creighton. <sighs> yeah. I might have to go on and redo that. <laughs> rear bumper and get that willy bar up there so this thing can this thing can really show off and I might throw on those trenches too <laughs> just to see how much of a crazy idiot this car can really be I mean, I'm known for being a power junkie when it comes to RC. And this thing, stock out the box, was actually just it's stock out the box. I haven't really changed nothing on it. <laughs> I mean, I've tried uh, how many different motors I've tried on this thing out that I didn't found out how to wedge that castle uh, 2028. And I tried about like five different motors, and yeah, they're all pretty freaking ballistic and I mean this car it is what it is it's uh it's a Explorer one fifth scale that's all it is <laughs> I thought about doing it I thought about doing it but I didn't I mean I could have probably held it for a couple of seconds but Doing the two-wheel action with this thing, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit heavier than that. So, two-wheel action will probably end up with broken parts. <laughs> oh, this thing is fun. Yeah, you just keep on rolling like that. But it looks like the stock servo, I mean servo saver is actually handling the servo some kind of way. Yeah, I don't know what the heck it's doing. I don't even want to know what it's doing down there, but I gotta go and check, don't I? How well is it engaging? And what did I do to make this thing work? So, yeah, let's turn it up. Get up in there. And see how well it's engaging. Now, yeah, that's one. Actually, not engaging at all. I wonder why. Hmm. 
for how long it's gonna last like that. Okay, what I did was I took a bearing and put it on there first after I undid the top of the servo tie down adjustment thing. I took that off, took off the spring, and then I put a bearing all the way down on the top of the spring retainer. And then I put everything back together, put the spring right on it on top of the bearing and just winched it down, winched it down, winched it down until it's absolutely as tight as it can possibly be. Yeah, it, it is tight in there. You, you can't see any gap between the springs. And the WFT vent died. Oh, that's the problem with WFT fans. They are loud, but 7.4 volts, yeah. They don't like being on 7.4 volts. And the Max 5 then gave up the ghost too. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I mean the Max 5 fan. Oh boy. You gotta love this thing. Yes, yeah, it's some crap caught in the fan. Okay. Let's try to get that crap out of there. The worst thing I need is for the ESC to burn up because there's some junk stuck in it. Oh, wait a minute. It's that little flower thing that's caught all over the place on this thing. There it goes. Did that really stop the fan from moving? Yeah, that little flower really stopped the fan from moving. As for WTF, WTF is dead. Yeah, it's just hot as hell. <laughs> but does this in runner motor really need a fan? It has this giant heat sink on it. I mean, this really, really thick aluminum heat sink. So it might not actually need a fan, and it's not overheating either. So another thing about this truck is that with the stock electronics with these giant Yome 65 yeah 6500 milliamp hour whatever cheap ass things you can get off of Amazon this thing will run forever I mean like over 20 minutes well I'm getting like five minutes on the same set of batteries with the poor Creighton oh no I don't even want to go there but yeah, this thing is no crazy. Oh god, this, this truck. Considering what I've actually done to this truck, it's not too much of nothing. It's that block type of thing. And a few other options. But other than that, I mean, you can get by with just lock type in this truck. I mean, I know I changed out the the front and rear hubs and and the wings, but you can find all of that stuff right now. I would love to find that servo saver though. I mean, it's working now, but at some point that servo will destroy this servo saver. So the servo ain't doing nothing. And it keeps on hitting this big ass rock out here. It, what the heck? Stop hitting the rock. The rock is not your friend. I mean, this rock is heavy and it's just constantly hitting it. Yeah. Like, it, like it's in love with the damn thing. Leave the rock alone. You're a mostly plastic car. <laughs> Plastic does not like huge rocks. Or giant movable objects like that big 
batting cage. Leave that alone too. <laughs> yeah, I can tell this thing was absolutely dope. It'd go vertical if they wanted, if, if I didn't have that woolly ball on there. Steering works. <laughs> okay. This video has been going on long enough. I'm, I'm, I'm just having fun playing with this thing now. For what it's worth, it's just, it's just a beast. Oh, but it is a rampage, and rampages are a beast. All you have to do is just make sure it's not going to fall apart on you. And that's it. Get it. Lock tight the hell out of it. Lock tight it again. Lock tight it again. And if anything still is coming apart, super glue it. <laughs> oh, but seriously, this is still easily the best deal in RC right now. I mean, 500 bucks. That's pence. That's literally pence. This damn thing was like, like 800 bucks when it first came out, and it was a Still, the this is the same piece of junk that it was then. Same car, same lock type problems. But now you can just you never know, get two of them for the price that it was when it first came out. And it's and it's still one fifth scale. Well, one fifth scale, one sixth scale. It's the one fifth scale rampage frame in the form of a monster truck, if you want to call it that. But yeah, even then, when it's lifted slightly off the ground, thanks to the front and rear depth extensions or whatever you want to call them, it's still a buggy. You're gonna have to lift those, widen those the shock tires to get that nice monster truck stance, especially the the one that has now. <laughs> that stance is, it looks mean. <laughs> I mean, that, that's me. You can actually see under the truck. <laughs> you can almost fit a whole tire under the truck. That's just how good that stance is. And it's not drooping. Those are the stock springs. Stock shock fluid. Stock everything. Even the... Even the positions of the... It, shock adjusters, though it's that stock, everything otherwise is stock. What's up? The stuff that I've changed on it, and the servo, and the wheels, and the Loctite. The Loctite is stock either. And adjusting the battery, uh, the battery straps to actually fit a normal force battery. <laughs> And the bumpers, obviously, and the wheelie bar. But HDP is cheap. Skateboard wheels is dirt cheap. Yeah, this this thing. With a little creativity, can become a absolute monster. Now, how far you want to take it, it's up to you. Because you can even manage to fit that castle motor on the motor mount some kind of way. I wouldn't advise it because it's just gonna give you the power to destroy the car and the car was never meant for that type of power. Although it can support it, yeah, you're gonna be destroying plastic left and right. I mean, the plastic arms and stuff on this truck is pretty thick, but yeah, there's also other things that can break like the freaking death cases and bulkheads and all that's plastic. Yeah, 
But in a week, I done tore this car up. I don't know how many times. And now it's running again, and it's awesome. So I'll leave it at that. Maybe the next time I'll up the welly bar so this thing can get off the ground. Because right now, it actually deserves it. And it's actually at a place where I would want it to get off the ground. So I'll leave it at that. It's been 20 minutes. Oh, boy. Good old Red Cat Rampage R5. I'm just going to call it R5 now. I'm tired of throwing in all the Red Cat Rampage crap. Yeah, so. R5 out.